Hey guys, it's Greg's Bear Review. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, today's beer is Loose Cannon. It is a American IPA coming in at 7.25%. It's brewed by Clipper City Brewing out of Baltimore, Maryland. Pint glass is going to be used today. You could use a stein, a mug, or a tumbler. The food pairings for this is your standard cheeses, your your pepper jack, your your more stronger cheeses, your uh, your uh, Monterey, your cheddar, your pungent cheeses, your, your gonzola, your Limburger. The uh, the the meat for this is the poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. So uh, this beer is not recommended for extended salary and we call this an IPA. So you're going to lose the hop characteristics. Even though it's seven percent beer, which would probably keep, uh, you're going to lose that hoppiness over time. So let's get it in a bottle, in a bottle, in a glass. <laughs> it's already in the bottle. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Uh, all right, let me get this in here where you can see it. There's the bottom. The glass got about a finger of head. It's a, it's a golden color. It's not super clear, but it's got probably got a chill haze on it because I keep. It's probably only about 40 degrees, so it's a little, a little cooler than it should be. Uh, uh, but uh, the head looks pretty good. It's got small bubbles. Uh, got some big bubbles mixed in there with it. So uh, we're out here in the pool today. Uh, Oh, that smells pretty good. They uh, they use three pounds per barrel of hops, and they use five different kinds of hops. So they use the Magnum, the Centennial, the uh, Amarillo, the Chinook, and the Palisade. So it's got a bunch of hops in there. So the malts they use is the Crisp English Malt, the Carapils, and the Munich. So uh, that smells pretty citrusy. It's got a lot going on there. It smells really good. Let's taste it. That's got a tiny, a tiny hops taste to it. Man, that's 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 got a good taste to it. The malt. The carapils gives it a little bit of a biscuity taste. The head has pretty much gone away. It's got just a, top, a little lacing on the top there. The glass has got lacing all around. It's leaving very good lacing. The bubbles are still streaming up from the bottom. So, a very, very pleasant smelling beer. This is a year-round serving from them, so if you can get it uh, in your area, you're going to try to pick it up and give it a try. So I'm going to sip on this for a little bit, and I'll be back shortly, and we'll do our final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left here in the glass. Uh, Ray Beer gave this a 98 overall and a 97 on the style. Uh, it's a pretty good beer. I actually have not had this in a bottle before, but I have had it in the cask and in draft at the micro festivals I attended a couple of weeks ago here in Roanoke. So uh, I like it in the cast better of all, but this is still a pretty good beer. This beer is hopped three times during the brewing process, and like I said, it has three pounds of hop per barrel dry hopping it. So uh, it's an expensive beer. Being a, brew, a brewer myself, that is a lot of moss and a lot of hops. That's an expensive beer to brew. So it's a pretty good beer. So. That's probably why it's got a good rating from right beer. So let's do the final chug. You cannot tell that it's 7% alcohol, 7.25% alcohol. So this could get you into trouble, but it's a very good beer. You ought to try it. Uh, if you see it, pick it up, give it a try. If you've had it, let me know what you thought of it. And guys, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next beer review. Oh, by the way, the rating on this beer, uh, 
I would have to give this beer at least a 95 on the scale today. So, guys, go check out this beer if you get it. See you next time, guys.